ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel happy easter to all of you from me and from gerald and today we are here for another so game in the peninsula between the british and the french the dice have decided that the british in this turn will uh, defend against an attacking french the mission here is pretty simple one brigade of british is entrenched in this village and is uh, orchard near this river into the peninsula and they have to escort some uh, supply in the form of an ancient chariot you have to forgive me but at the moment i have no uh, real um, trail and uh, chariot to use so it will fit for the moment because it's the only chariot that i've painted and uh, an undead skeleton will not suit uh, any good for this mission. So the first brigade is deployed to battalion uh, to escort the supply chariot across the bridge towards the British line down this road. And uh, the French will enter from that side far down there and try to prevent and control the territory. Uh, point R. 10 point if the chariot is destroyed or 10 point if the chariot is safely moved across the bridge and out of the field. Uh, 3 point to control this hill here plus any uh, defeat inflicted to the enemy. British reinforcements are scattered, they are retreating from uh, the incoming French so they will arrive from 3 different points on a 1 or a 2 from the third turn, the reserve enter with this side from this road. On a four, uh, on a three and a four, from that side, from the rear line, and they cross the river and can act from the five and a six on the far corner, just over the um, the river. The French will enter in the first turn with its cavalry from the point down there along the road and from the second turn every brigade will enter from that uh, uh, side down there and uh, that's it a rule for the chariot it can take one single activation it can only move six inches it cannot be charged uh, if uh, any of the defender battalion is within uh, nine inches from it but if both this battalion are destroyed the chariot can be charged and if destroyed it grant a 10 victory point to the attackers uh, the defender of the convoy have plus one to their valor test and that's it for the game uh, we have a light battalion in front uh, in open order one in uh, march column at the moment I, don't, I can't remember if I said it cannot take a double move, just move six. And the two battalions can never move more than nine inches away from their convoy. Uh, defending into the orchard, a battery of six pounder down there. Uh, the 69 rifle with the commander and one unit of a battalion of um, Highlander with uh, elite melee and shooting. In this battle, guard cannot be deployed from both sides uh, and the attacker have more point, about 100 point more than the defender, uh, which have a less difficult uh, uh, task to accomplish. And that's it for the first turn. Now moving to make the French cavalry brigade enter and then start the turn. <laughs> The French first turn is over and the cavalry brigade has entered the table. It was made by a unit of dragoon, one unit of lancers and unit of hussars, two, two horse artillery and two infantry detachments made of dragoon on foot, the last painted model. I will try what I explained you in my last video about light cavalry. And that's it for, uh, for the French first turn. British, which is led by Gerald, so the IA, uh, select our central defense as a main uh, uh, rule for their uh, strategy, um, equal defense if they need to change, so uh, this is because probably the main uh, battle will, uh, will happen in the center of the table for 
the hill and its and its neighbor. So uh, this is on the left the stretch of the first disturb and no danger so no modifier is a tree so a react no enemy inside so they can easily move uh, the center is again a probe they can uh, try to shoot with a skirmisher maybe leaving their position to try to shoot with skirmisher uh, at least at the first turn to put some casualty and uh, uh, essentially that's it the artillery is uh, um, just deployed on the left so it take a shoot because no need to move which taking a shoot to the incoming enemy the car for this turn is a four and that's it and back at the end of the turn for a quick quick recap the first turn will be very easy so the turn is uh, over the artillery failed to do anything to the incoming French the uh, lander crossed the, the orchard and prepared to shoot in the next turn if the French came in their way and uh, all three of this unit activated uh, rolling three four plus for their messenger so they easily activate to move uh, outside uh, the chariot will not need to be activated indeed about a roll three dice at the moment so both of them activated with success and the exco uh, and the convoy is moving forward along the road now moving on the french second turn and let the rest of the french army and his leader which for today is the debut of marshal soult which uh, uh, lead the french in this attack back in a sec at the end of french turn two <laughs> The French uh, Dragoon open fire with their skirmisher and put a casualty into the Scots uh, Islanders, the, the Black Watch. Uh, then uh, the cavalry successfully move forward and they're totally just deploy, ready to start to use their uh, long barrel gun next turn. Uh, the rest of the French has entered. Leading the way is a Leger Brigade with uh, uh, four battalion, one under strain, three full battalion with their leader. Uh, they take a double move along uh, the road and uh, stay within 12 to 18 inches from uh, the enemy. Uh, and then a small brigade is moving on this hill try to protect the flank of the French from any reserves that come in from that side and threat the orchard and the fields of the village and the main battalion, the main brigade formed by five line battalion and the two uh, infantry detachment is moving with Marshal Soult which taking a look at the village and ask this a header camp is this a church because if there's a church probably many gold is inside it and, and that's it for the French first turn second turn uh, a six pounder of field gun is attached to this brigade and uh, a small detachment of uh, um, Irish uh, voltage and that's it I'm moving to the uh, British second turn they must hold at least another turn. British second turn begin and the card is a 10. Uh, useless now, maybe for uh, uh, act on initiative. On the left, they relieve, they see the, ma the menace of the French and they will take defensive attitude so they stay where they are and prepare the defense against the French uh, cavalry in the center they roll a six uh, to engage the enemy so both the artillery and uh, the Scots will open fire at full effect and uh, try to take make as much casualty as possible to the French uh, back at the end of the turn to see what the British can do this turn. Second turn was also quick as before, 
both the artillery and the Scots open fire take one casualty into this Dragoon unit and one into this Dragoon unit is taken by the artillery and that one for the Scots they fire separate and uh, then the side here the leisure, the light battalion take the square because they fail the activation and use act on initiative the chariot is move forward and uh, the 40 line is with a uh, uh, outside uh, the range of a cavalry charge so they take the line at least for one turn maybe to unleash some far power into the french while waiting for reserve and that's it for the second turn now moving on the french third turn and uh, now the real attack will uh, move in <laughs> The second turn is over, the fire was completely ineffective. The artillery failed to hit the square, while the dragoon, even from the close distance, failed to take any damage to the block watch. Also the cavalry failed to activate, so I decided to drop the one card to make the Usars to move forward in range to menace the uh, both the uh, if infantry down there from the, from the British infantry. The rest of the French successfully activated, so the main brigade is taken at the double because no enemy within 18 inches, so they close into the cavalry. The Leger open their rank from three of their battalion going on open order to move forward and try to envelope this hill and treat both the village and the, the, the road down there while the rest of the brigade has taken a position to protect the flank one battalion is occupied hoods the rest of the battalion is on the hill artillery deployed and uh, um, the voltage air detachment open their ranks and now is moving into the british turn tree and the reserve the first brigade arrive because one brigade at time will arrive from reserve the british have two uh, infantry brigade and reserve one a mixed one between the uh, king german legion and portuguese allies one uh, light battalion light brigade and uh, another infantry brigade plus a cavalry four not a three four brigade in reserve now <laughs> At the beginning of turn 3, the card drew is an 8 and the strategy for this turn from the left is stay where they are, relieve, so essentially they take defensive stand in this moment and in the center they take engage again, so they uh, try to shoot but not to charge because they are not uh, they only charge they can only charge when they are sure to win on uh, in uh, at number the enemy and this is not the case but they can try to cause as much damage as possible with uh, the scots while the reserve will arrive and uh, the first brigade will arrive is cavalry and will arrive from uh, one and two from the back of uh, the um, battalion down there so the cavalry brigade enter and offer support again the French cavalry and that's it now moving into the shooting and uh, uh, the rest of the turn the turn is over this dragoon were shaken by the fire from the uh, black watch artillery completely miss the square activated and moved three inch forward followed by the chariot but this battalion is failed to activate so it remain where it is and the chariot cannot move any further but due to the distance but the cavalry enter they are sufficiently um, away from the enemy so they take a double activation and take this uh, position here and ready to move in into the next turn or react to any French activation and that's it for uh, the third British turn and now the real battle is going to begin because the French is closing in and uh, the casualty will soon start to mount back 
at the end of the French turn. The card for the French turn is the 9, surprise attack, and uh, now we are going to move all uh, the brigade to close into the enemy and start uh, to make uh, some damage to this British. We are back in a sec for a quick recap of what has happened during the turn. The turn is over, everything activated with success. Cavalry take attacking position with the artillery dominating the hill and the main brigade is behind them with a detachment which occupied that wood at the moment. The Legere stay in position on the front of the Scots uh, sensibly grow their French firepower on this side. The Dragoon here failed to rally and this brigade is uh, moving to take better position for a threat to any incoming uh, support from that side because the cavalry is now in and so only infantry can enter from that side. And that's it. From the fire, the skirmisher from the mini infantry put two casualty into the Scots. We now have three casualty and one into the light dragoon down there. And that's it for the third turn for the French, moving into the British fourth turn. The card is a nine, a surprise attack, also another good card. And uh, uh, now we'll see from where the reserve will come and in this case will be the light brigade and will enter from a 5-6 so from that far side uh, the light brigade is made from uh, any um, light infantry and riflemen and Portuguese cacadores uh, that the British at at the moment uh, and they will move in and uh, try to add over the French into that side of the field. Strategy in the center now the Brits are equal so no modifier, five um, the probe, try to attack where it's possible to win or try to uh, put casualty with fire in the center, again engage, maybe not the best uh, card but the Scots will try to charge if they can uh, successfully win or start a uh, far fight if they cannot and in this case they can probably easily win a melee but they will find themselves into the middle of the French so uh, shooting will be uh, more interesting uh, uh, and wise thing to do at the um, uh, back at the end of the turn for a recap. The British turn is over, the French, the, the fire is very effective because they shaken this unit with the fire from the 69th. The artillery successfully hit two ice because they infilade the uh, Usars, putting two casualty into the Usars on the hill and the square put a casualty into the Dragoon. The rest uh, of the cavalry is move slightly to take better position to launch the charge and the 40 uh, line uh, has taken position and entered in the range of the Dragoon. And now uh, on that side uh, the Light Brigade entered, the one detachment of 60 rifle, two understrained uh, Light Battalion and uh, the 95th rifle and one unit uh, of freshly painted Portuguese Cacadores enter on this side they will try to outmaneuver the French and put a severe a fire they have lots of firepower into this side and we'll see what has happened next turn and now moving into the French turn <laughs> The French card is uh, the Grunyard, Les Grunyard, one unit that's a taken casualty, can become a uh, uh, veteran and I will make that in a second and then uh, it's time to probe the English line. So probably the Dragoon will be Les Grunyard. So yes, they will come Les Grunyard, they become veteran of this 
war plus one in melee and plus one in tenacity so they go to tenacity five at the moment because they have uh, I paid the elite uh, uh, upgrade on them so they be, they just have uh, uh, tenacity four and uh, that's it I back in the end of the turn for a break up of what has happened or if a melee will arise to roll some dice for you. The turn uh, at the moment uh, are a mixed bag for the French. This brigade here not only failed to cause any casualty on the light, but light brigade that uh, are just uh, coming but also failed to activate so they cannot even uh, uh, remaneuver to take better position. In the center is slightly better the, uh, the Leger Brigade has put enough casualty to take uh, to force uh, the uh, Gordon, uh, no, the Black Watch to take a uh, uh, valor test uh, in a moment then uh, Sult order an all-out assault for the cavalry try to uh, put some damage into the counterpart and um, force the hand of the British. The Hussars using surprise attack card charge into the flank of the uh, heavy dragoon. It's not the best situation but in the plan of the French they will put enough casualty to the dragoon to diminish their power for the counter strike because if they have a casualty they will hit at least on a 4 At, uh, due to the inflate they have one more attack and they have uh, uh, they, they halve their attack so are 5 against 3 the French uh, Lancers uh, charge uh, straight forward into the, the major the light uh, dragoon with the support of the horse artillery which uh, taking their move and the dragoon uh, charge uh, straight forward into the line which has taken a casualty from the fire of the voltage from the wood. The rest of the brigade is maneuvering to take position for the further attack and that's it now proceeding to roll some dice for you. I will start with the French Dragoon which have a 6 attack, 5 regularly plus 1 for the uh, Grunyard card against the 40 line which have 4 attack, 1 because is in line and 1 for the support. No card as play but from both sides, both hit on a 4, both reroll the 1. So we'll see. The French eat three, three times. The Brits at the moment eat one, but have two, one to reroll. Eat twice, so the fourth line was dispersed and cut down by the Dragoon, and this is uh, very good news for the French. Uh, so, here the Dragoon uh, enter and crush the line, and uh, the 40 line was destroyed in a sec, their uh, commander need to take a, a fortitude test and I have to take the valor test for the melee, for the fire from uh, the black watch down there, sorry that I forgot it, so it's a test on a tree, it passes so the uh, black watch will stay where they are. Now proceeding to the next uh, melee and is the most important probably the 50 SARS is regularly for attack 5 because is uh, on a flank of the Dragoon the heavy, the heavy British Dragoon Dragoon have 6 but they are reduced to 3 due to the fact that they are enfilade and taken on the flank uh, the French eat on a 4 the British is on a tree, re-rolling one because they are heavy cavalry. So we'll see. Uh, uh, three attack f enter from the dragoon and three attack enter for the French, which are the attackers. So they win the melee. Uh, this means that they are shaken. They take in three casualty. They win the melee, so they have not to take uh, any test and just move, not to stay engaged, sorry, what, what the hell I'm going to do. Uh, I put the casualty on them. Plus they were forced to take a retreat, so they move away from the danger at the moment. So this is a very good result. 
And now moving to the last uh, cavalry charge, the Lancers have four attack plus one for the brigade support, and the British have four attack plus one for the brigade support. No one roll anything, the French hit on a three, the British hit on a four. So the French eat four times, while the Brit eat only three times. This means that uh, both the cavalry are shaken, but the British have to take two valor tests, which I'm going to take in a sec. Two valor tests for the Brits, and the cavalry stay. Now, that's it for the dice. Now I put in the casualty and take the relative movement uh, and remove uh, the destroyed unit. The last roll of the turn is the fortitude test for the commander of the infantry brigade. It is a test on a four plus because he is he has a four uh, unit on the table but no commander nearby. So a four plus. He is a failure, and this failure means that he take a defeat, and the cots are gone because they are shaken so they are gone and they take a defeat all in all not a good not a bad um, turn for the French all the cavalry or the light cavalry are shaken this one is also shaken this take three casualty this is pretty safe but he is the only real uh, active English cavalry uh, so we'll see what is happening in the next turn? The French are taking two casualty, but at the moment, but they are still operative. And now that's it for the British turn. Back in a sec for the French. The British turn begins. The card is a king, and uh, the reserve will arrive with the commander from point uh, three four. So from this side here they will uh, come and offer assistance uh, to the brigade which has suffered a defeat at the moment and now the uh, strategy from the left they uh, relieve so if they can they stay where they are or move away from the incoming enemy uh, on the center also a react so probably the, the 69th fall back in cover of the wall and uh, relieve even on the right so they uh, do what they do maneuver and shoot to the enemy take no aggressive action so the relief on that side meant that the Brits were shocked by the all-out assault of the cavalry and this is not a very good uh, uh, news for the heavy dragoon which are eager to charge the French counterpart but they cannot because the order are the order back at the end of the turn for a recap the light brigade fire put casualty into the wood and into the uh, voltage air in front another casualty is put onto the light uh, battalion in front of Leger and uh, two casualties from the artillery into the Usars which are shooting the back so two dice so two immediate tests two valor tests for the Usars I'm going to roll on a three plus they pass both so they are safe no test is needed and now proceeding to the rest of the turn and uh, to the melee the brigade is arrived, so arrived at Captain McKenzie. One detachment of 60 rifle, the 95th Light Battalion, Gordon Islanders, the first Scots moving on that side the next turn of the route. So here they success they successfully rally. Uh, they shoot and put some casualty here and there. They fail to rally. Now moving to the melee. And the melee is uh, the light. Dragoon that are no more shaken against the, the Lancers which are shaken. So five dice per side, but the French have uh, the shaken status, so eat on a five while the British eat on a four. So we'll see the outcome of this melee. Oh, the, the eat, British eat twice while the French eat once. So 
two valor tests uh, need to be taken by the lancers and uh, no more test is required from the braids but they are again shaken so two valor tests for the French on a four plus and both pass the cavalry today is shining where the, the infantry is uh, not uh, at their best so they stay where they are and that's a pretty hand of the Brit of the French tur uh, the British turn sorry uh, the reinforcement is coming so the situation is uh, growing hot and the French needed to cope with this uh, large number of infantry and another brigade is uh, on the road and can uh, enter anywhere so we we'll see what they are going to do this turn the French turn start with a six a deadly it's good they can uh, reroll any failed uh, eat so moving into the fire and then to uh, the rest of the turn and the melee for the outcome of it fire again was almost ineffective just the 60 rifle take one casualty from the fire inside the wood the rest of the skirmish fire um, take no casualty to the British but uh, the unit uh, successfully activate and maneuver one column is moving on uh, the left of the wood the rest is taken line in front uh, and the artillery is deployed to receive the British the Leger in the center put one casualty into the 69 and uh, reform to form uh, a fire line uh, in order to face uh, the British uh, threat here and uh, on the hill the fight continues bravely uh, the French failed to rally this one charge into the back so more dice all are shaken we will see and the dragoon uh, gallantly charged the, uh, counter, the British counterpart trying to make some damage on them so moving into the melee oh and you have a glimpse that two column charge into the square also which has taken a casualty from the fire of the artillery on the hill and two casualties put on this light uh, British Dragoon down here so starting with the first melee the light Brit British Light Dragoon taken uh, by two enemy they are four dice but they are taken in the rear so they lost uh, half of their dice the, the Hussars will attack the French down there, offer support. Uh, so two dice plus a brigade support. The Dragoon is four dice plus two for the brigade support, uh, uh, plus two for the Lancers and one from the brigade support. Uh, everything, everyone eat on a five, no one reroll. Oh, I plus one because they attack in the rear of the unit. No one reroll, everything eat on a five. So is one eat per side, very poorly, but they are exhausted by the continuous fight. The French are the attacker, so they win the melee. And the Brits now will need to take a valor test. But the real fight is the French Dragoon, which have six attack due to their status of this Grignard, against the British Dragoon, which also have six attack because they are British heavy cavalry. Put it on a four and both reroll the one. So we'll see this melee is real important for the French. Sorry, the dice is gone. We'll see on a four, we're rolling one. One, two, three, eight for the British, no reroll allowed. Four, eight for the French, plus one reroll. It's a five, eight for the French, so it's another French victory. And this brings uh, the casualty of the British uh, two above their um, tenacity. So two valor test for the heavy dragoon, back in a second for the rolls. Now proceeding with their Valor test, it's a single dice, it's a 
roll on a 4 plus and the light cover is stay but the heavy dragoon have to take two of them and they have the 8 card so they spent the card number 8 and they also pass their test so no fortitude test for the British this turn and this could be a game changing but we see we proceed now to the melee the squares against the column the final melee of the turn the British have 4 attack 5 because they are in a square no brigade support because no one is closer the first column have 4 attack plus 2 for the other column plus one for the brigade support. French eat on a three, rerolling one. The British eat on a four, rerolling one. So we we'll see. Uh, the British eat twice. Uh, the French eat many more because they miss one, uh, eat four, and have two reroll. Eat five. The, the square has just taken two casualty. So would we, they have to take three valor test on uh, uh, four plus? No, they are under the fifty percent now, so they needed to roll. No, they are at fifty percent. So three eat on a four plus, but they failed. Their morale failed, and the square is gone. And I roll a dice more because they are light battalion, but. Anyway, it doesn't matter, the, the square is gone and a fortitude test must be taken for the brigade. But this time it passed. But the situation is changing because everyone here is shaken. The square is gone, the escort of the chariot is also gone. Now it is uh, a legal target for the French. And moving into the British turn now. Time is really running. We are entering in the end, uh, uh, in the last uh, stages of the game, but not for now. Uh, the British start the turn, uh, drawing a two, must reroll the deck and uh, roll for their defense. On the left, uh, they will uh, probe, so they attack if they have. Uh, right successfully possibility to win or at least or otherwise they stay where they are and shoot uh, this mean that this unit will take uh, uh, position and uh, ready to uh, fire in the next turn and the cavalry will continue the fight uh, and try to rally in the center they react so they stay where they are and shoot and on the right they approve so move forward and shoot as their best and the last reserve will arrive from point four so from that side of the road now moving into the shooting and the rest of the turn fire and maneuver here this unit has successfully fire put two casualty into the wood despite the reducer of the damage and shaken the voltage now they can maneuver with the two of them shoot with their skirmisher they are not shoot at all so they can move right here not maybe in front of the uh, Swiss which are taking a casualty from the fire uh, and they jump into the wood into the field sorry so they get some kind of cover from the enemy returning fire they stay where they are uh, they stay where they are put a casualty into the leger which are charged by the Gordon Islander which use uh, the surprise attack to have an extra move and uh, uh, maneuver in the first one and then charge with the second one. The rest of the brigade is taking position to protect and try to intervene to protect uh, the, um, the chariot with uh, the furniture and uh, cover is still engaged in melee, still engaged in melee, everyone failed to rally the brigade the last one has arrived deployed artillery 
the first uh, King German Legion is ready to storm the hood. This one is ready to see the outcome of the cavalry melee and the second King German Legion is taking the line. So we're moving straight forward into the melee phase between the two cavalry. And this is a very crucial moment of the game. So let's start with the, the Heavy Dragoon. Uh, the attack is made by the Light Dragoon, which are not shaken for attack. Plus 2 from the Heavy Dragoon which support them, makes 6 with no reroll. The French have only 3 attack because they are flanked and uh, uh, they are shaken. So the British eat on a 4 without rerolling and the French eat on a 5 rerolling 1. So it's a very crucial 1. Uh, the, the French eat once and uh, the British eat uh, three times, so the French Dragoon uh, is the loser and need to take uh, a valor test at the end of the melee, but the uh, Light dra Dragoon are also shaken. Every cavalry on the table is shaken at the moment. Now moving on to the central fight, where the British have two dice, no more support from their partner uh, Light Dragoon, and uh, the Sars have a 4, plus 2 for the Lancers, plus 1 for the outflanking, and plus 1 for the artillery. Oh, well, I need to roll an extra dice for the previous melee because they flank the French. So another one is the, from the previous melee to see if another uh, test is needed. Now uh, they are on 3, no, they remain on 3. So we say 2 attack for the Brits and uh, a lot for the French. Everyone eat on a five. So the British eat once and the French eat once again as before. Lots of dice, but just one eat. So the, the British now have to take one valor test for their cavalry. Another dice is gone. And the same for the French, but with three dice. So start with the Brits on a four plus. And the Light Cavalry finally is gone, the Light Dragoon is gone, and now we see for the French Heavy Dragoon, they very gone. So, uh, one fortitude test per side to see what has happened to the rest of Cavalry, because everyone in the Cavalry sector are shaken. Starting with the French, the cavalry brigade is made of six units, so it's a test on a three plus, and the commander of the cavalry is close to Marshal Davout, uh, sorry, Marshal Soult, so it's a test on a two, and the French have the uh, card number eight, so they pass barely, but they pass. The Brits have a test on a four plus, because they still have two units on the table, and also are within uh, 12 inches, so it test on a tree, and they also pass. So just the uh, destroyed cavalry is gone, and now moving into the, another melee, the melee between the Gordon Islanders and the poor French Leger, which are also in open order. And so the British are veteran, so they have five dice and are in line, no brigade support. The French are a Leger, which have three, but they are in open order, so they have two. And the British eat on a three, the poor French eat on a four. And the outcome is quite predictable. The French eat twice, but the British eat six times. So three valor tests for the brigade of, for the battalion of Leger. We'll see in a sec. And is bravely stay the first Leger, yes, it's the first Leger, make great his name, so they stay where they are. This is a very good news for the French. And that's put an end to the turn, I put a casualty token, remove the casualty and start to the French turn. And look into the hour, probably it will be the last or the pro-last turn for the French.
I double check the hour. French have enough time to make two turn and two will be for the Brits. So French turn, they take stubborn. It's very important at the moment because it can change the outcome of the melee down there between the cavalry. And now proceeding to the fire, to the maneuver and see where the turn result. Against the fire from their brigade is very disappointing. No casualty at all was caused to the British Light Brigade. In the center, the Leger put two casualty into the 69, taken, taken shaken, while this one is gone, while the artillery on the hill failed to eat anything uh, down there. And the artillery here, with the support of uh, the um, Voltiger put another casualty into the light cavalry, which I have to take a barrel test at the end of the fire, which I also roll in the moment. It's a true plus, it passes, so it stay where they are. And now with the activation, the first and three activation is for, for infantry, which charge the chariot. I just move it before, but I forgot they have to show you the outcome of the fire, sorry, oh, these bayonets, uh, they charge the chariot, the chariot is tenacity 1, so we see the outcome. Uh, this infantry will charge the flank of the large goon, while the rest of the, artillery, uh, the, the infantry will move in a sec and uh, back for the melee. The brigade has moved forward to engage in the last turn. Both the Swiss and the Grenadier press the light battalion of the light brigade. In the center, the Leger failed to activate, so the first Leger, which bravely stayed the next turn, cannot retreat. I spent a card to take uh, an act of initiative with the Leger back there, which moved and formed the line for the last turn to prevent. Uh, the inevitable uh, breakthrough of the Scots. The 5th Hussar, using the card uh, uh, Stubborn, take one casualty away and charge into the 60 line rifle detachment, which is also in open order. The Lancers fail to activate, uh, sorry, fail to rally. Uh, anyone uh, don't need to take further movement, this column move into, have you seen, and the rest of the brigade moving accordingly to support them, and uh, the detachment uh, leave the woods to the King German Legion, they do not need to protect the wood, so they uh, left it, and now moving into the melee for the uh, French turn, we'll see what is going to happen. The first melee we are going to take is the Gordon Islanders, which will butcher the first Leger. Five attack because they are veteran and they are also in line against the two of the poor French. Now they have the brigade support, but it really doesn't matter. Uh, only a miracle can help them. Uh, so they hit on a five with no reroll. The British hit on a four, on a four rerolling one. <laughs> it's well. They they give their lives, so take two casualty for the Brits, but also taking five uh, eat back. So five valor test for the first leger. I'm going to take it immediately and moving forward. Uh, they are really really gone. So the first leger is gone. A fortitude test is, will be taken from the leger brigade. And now moving into the melee for this side, which is really important for the outcome of the game. Uh, the column of attack from the main brigade under the eyes of Sult attack the chariot with the uh, supply. For attack, five for the uh, brigade support, eating on a tree, rerolling one. The chariot have one single attack and have a um, tenacity of one. So the French eat on a tree. We got one. One is out of the tree. So five eight. The driver put one casualty back because they want 
take as many French as possible with them, but now they have to take four valor tests on a four plus. And they gone, so the chariot is gone, it's destroyed by the French. We we'll loot, we will we'll loot the the transport later on after the, the, the battle. Now the other column of attack, which attack the Light Dragoon on the flank, so force against two, plus one support from the brigade and another for the brigade support here. French hit on a three, British Dragoon hit on a five. The French can reroll the one. Luckily, they can reroll the one. Uh, at the moment, they can only draw, so they spend the card number six uh, deadly to try to crush the cavalry because they cannot uh, fail. So, all the misses are rerolled far much better. Four against two, so they take the casualty, but uh, the, the British need to take four Balor test for its light cavalry and four valor tests are taken and they fail too so they are also gone and uh, another 42 test for the, for the British at the end of the turn will be required the last melee is the Usars again the 60 rifle the 60 rifle have two attack but is in open order just one they also will out this but it cannot go under one so they have one attack French a uh, four attack plus one because are flanking plus one for the support uh, of the nearby lancers. So all of them hit on a four. So they take one casualty and uh, shaken back the Usars, but they have to take uh, three valor tests. The sixty rifle need to take three valor tests in a moment. So. But the test of the rifle and they are gone. Now, the rifle is gone, so 142 test for that brigade. They have a, a 1, 2, 3, 4 unit, so no need, no malus, no bonus on a 4 plus. They pass it. Uh, the cavalry is within 12 inches from the, their um, overall commander. But they are half under half trained, so minus one plus one is on a four plus. It pass, and finally the French, it's a four plus, and they pass. So the, the courage on this field of honor uh, today will uh, uh, is uh, unshakable. So I proceed to remove the casualty and move into the British turn. <laughs> British turn, they take the Queen, so volley fire and uh, defensive fire is uh, ready for the brace to be used, maybe a turn too late. The strategy on the left, the situation is grim, so a minus one react became stay react, so stay where they are, charge only if they have great possibility of success otherwise they shoot in the center uh, engage I don't know who can engage at the moment in the center only one light battalion can engage the um, the voltage so they will be on the left on the right probe usually for them stay and fire whatever they they have in order to uh, weak the incoming enemy and uh, that's it we are back at the end of the turn or for the sun melee well, the fire from the British is blistering this time two casualty put on the Swiss not enough to force them on uh, a test but the 95th plus the Cacadores uh, put uh, six casualty in the fresh column of uh, uh, Grenadier which have to take two Valor tests now on a three and they gone, so a fortitude test for this brigade at the moment. Uh, nothing else here but a fire from this battalion here into the 5th Tsar. I forgot the smoke down there. The 
into the SARS Force 2 valor test because they taken two more casualty so other two tests and uh, also failed so two fortitude tests now one uh, for the cavalry which still are with one two three four five so they still are on a two plus and a space and uh, one ear which has one two three four five units so another test on a three plus which is passed. So the fortitude test for the fire is passed. Now moving into the uh, activation phase for the Brits. Some charge are to be declared if the activation and the order will arrive rightly. So on the right the, uh, the AA order attack and they successfully charge into this voltage air. Maybe they will force another um, fortitude test to the brigade. The Gordon Islander in the center charges the Leger and here is a bit an hazardous charge but they are shaken, they are also shaken. They have more attack and if they win by one they will break the column. So it could have a, a reasonable uh, possibility to win and force a test on that brigade. So moving into the melee right now and start with the cavalry which have six attacks hitting on a five against five hitting on a five both re-rolling the one and uh, that paid off for the Brits three hits against uh, two one just one sorry so the column is gone and uh, the British for their rule need to breakthrough against the closest available target which are this column here and they also charge in the flank because they see and have a flank charge so they break through with the British ability of head strong and are six attack hitting on a five against the three two seven attack hitting on a five against uh, two because they are flanked plus one for the uh, brigade support they hitting on a four and again uh, the british attack paid off because they hit twice it twice against twice so they win the melee and break the french column because they are cavalry and the French column is gone and now it's over for the bridge because just one over uh, right through charge so two valor test is needed for a uh, fortitude test is needed for this brigade at the end of the melee now moving down there with the, Fr the islanders which charge into the French leger in line so again the sixth attack for the Brits they are a leger, but they are in line of four attack. No reward, but they have support from the partner battalion close. Hitting uh, on a four, both side, the French, the British can reroll the one. Uh, lucky for the British, they can reroll the one. So they eat four times against the two of the French. So the battalion have just taken two casualty and they have to take two more valor tests immediately. But they stay, they contain the, the islanders and uh, shaken them for the next turn. The final matchup is the Voltiger against the Light Battalion. Uh, it is an understream battalion, so it's two. Both are in open order, so take out two dice. The French have support, the other, uh, the um, British not have support, but the French eat on a five, rerolling nothing. The, uh, the British eat on a three, rerolling nothing. And the British force the French to another uh, valor test on a four plus, which is passed. The courage on this field today is uh, outstanding. So. 
now I have to take the 242 test for the main battalion, main brigade, which is still 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 242 test on a 2 plus. Okay, they pass, so no defeat for the British. And that's it. Now moving into the French last turn. I completely forgot that I got a six. Maybe I can save one of my column, but anyway, I will use this turn. Uh, last turn for the French, last card for the French, confusion. So at least no free activation for the Brits in last turn. Uh, and now moving into the fire and to the maneuver. Fire again was effective from the French as for the British and uh, uh, put two casualty into the 69 which have to take two immediate baller uh, test so on a 3 plus they stay and the same on this side while artillery put two casualty into the um, Dragoon down here to test on a 3 plus, but they finally concede and uh, they flee the field. But this means that the last unit of the brigade destroyed, so one defeat is inflicted to the British commander. And now moving into the uh, activation phase. The last turn for the French will be glorious or nothing. They take position for the eventually counter strike from the, the King German Legion in the last British turn. Uh, the Hussars launch, although exhausted and shaken, launch an assault on the Gordon Islander on their flank. They are also shaken. The um, Leger retreat the artillery which have not taken that move move here to support the SARS uh, the downgraded leger entering the field just for say we are we are here and get this field for us the line charge the flank of this uh, light battalion and the Swiss reach their target uh, although they are casualties so moving in the last melee of the game I say the gay, but it's not sure. The British are still one turn. Starting with the, with the Swiss. Swiss have four attack. They are in column. Uh, no support. The downgraded light battalion have three attack. Downgraded open order is four against one. Eating on four from both sides and both reroll one. So it's three against one. Three casualty put onto the light battalion which is uh, one under the tenacity because it's downgraded so they need one baller test and the Swiss are exhausted so a baller test for the light battalion which is fail so he has routed and uh, this mean a fortitude test at the end of the phase the next melee is the French line into the side of the other light British battalion, six attack in total, four for the French line and side, and one single attack for uh, the British and plus two because there are two units engaged. So they hit on a four because one of the side is shaken, one of the French unit is shaken, the other one is hitting on a four because it is charged. No reroll is three against one. So the French, then the French, the French win, and the British need to take one test exactly as uh, their partner battalion, and they also fail. So it's another British battalion destroyed. So moving into the last melee for the French, the most glorious one, the Hussars charging the side of the Scots battalion. The last melee for the French. We'll see what is going to happen. The Usars have four attack plus one because they are on the flank plus one for the brigade support. The, French, the British have five or six attack but they are flanked so they become three attack. Both it on a five 
so we see Ooh, yes yes barely the French eat three times the British eats three times uh, the Scots again and again prove their valor but this time is not enough because the charging unit is the French and they are cavalry so the Gordon Islanders is gone now the, the, valor, the fortitude test which closed the French turn for the brigade with the Gordon Islanders they still have a one two three unit on the field so on a four plus and it's a failure so it's a defeat for the British another one and two fortitude test for the light brigade on a four plus another failure another defeat so the game is practically over uh, we can play the British turn but the British have no real capacity to turn the tide of this battle and even if they force a, uh, one or two a fortitude test and even if the French fail those tests uh, the victory is in the end of the French uh, are back for the last turn of the British just for the sake of fun and because Gerald want to play it the British last turn is an all-out assault not the very best moment to play an all-out assault but we will see the strategy on the left they are no more bonus or malus they have an entire brigade against an entire brigade six is a, a probe so we see they charge a, maybe they will charge the line if they have the right support and a good fire return in the sand and here they can uh, easily charge the cavalry which are shaken and taken in the flank uh, so the center the center is uh, in danger so I react the only battalion our shaken will try to shoot with skirmisher and try to rally and uh, on the left uh, uh, is a reactor also so we see under the, under the fire British fire one valor test for the SARS which is failed they are gone and the Swiss down there have take two valor tests but they stay so a uh, fortitude test for the cavalry now it's on a four plus three plus sorry but it's pass so no defeat at the moment for uh, the French and now the French play confusion so for the activation everything must be rolled with the sense that is gone for the fire on this one are too far to charge this cavalry so the only melee is here between the French uh, line taking two casualty and a fresh uh, first King German Legion with the charge with the support of the Portuguese so the last melee of the game with a four attack, five because in line, six to the support, and the whole out assault. So another one against the four attack for the French plus one for the brigade support. The, Fre the British hit on a three, re-rolling one, and the French hit on a fire. Four re-rolling nothing. So the British eats five six time six time and the French eat just three so they taken four valor they have to take four valor test and four valor test will be taken uh, three is taken one is outside the tree and this also stay wow the courage today is amazing so with this melee the game is over back in a sec for a, a recap of the final score which is a stunning victory for the French and that's the final result the British suffer four defeat and the, the, the French suffer none the French claim all the objective 10 points for destroying 
the chariot three points for taking the hill and four points for the defeat inflicted to the French for a great total to 17 to 0. A stunning victory for the debut of the Marshal Soult. And uh, now the British officer will have to explain the measure of this failure to Lord Wellington. And that's it for the game of today. It's a very long, uh, hard fighting battle between the French and the Brits with uh, the dice of the cavalry uh, make, the, make this fight for this side of the table uh, really fun. I hope you, that you enjoy it uh, and uh, again happy Easter or Stara or whatever you like uh, to you. See you as soon as possible. Bye bye.